welcome to my channel once again and if today is your first time consider subscribing and also don't forget to share the channel all right so if you are interested in data analytics and programming then this channel is the right channel for you without wasting my time let's go straight into the classroom welcome back once again into the classroom and this is the second part of the series on sql for data analytics and in this part or in this session we're going to talk about how to select records or to retrieve records from our database so we're going to talk about the following so we'll talk about how to select all records using star then also we we'll talk about top and we we'll also talk about distinct then we talk about count we talk about as or alias max minimum and average okay so basically this is what we're going to talk about in this second session of our uh, SQL for data analytics. So star, when you use star in a select statement, it simply means that you are selecting all records. Right. So to select records from a database, you need to use the select statement. So you just type select. SQL is very easy. It's just like typing an English language. So select star, which means all. So we are retrieving all records from our table or our database. Select star followed by where? The table. So from where? The table. So you provide the table name. So we will select records from our students table. Very simple. So now let me execute this code okay so you see that all the records in the students table has been selected successfully here very simple but then mind you when you have millions or billions of records and you use the select all or select star imagine how your database will slow down because you can't pull all those records at a go so you have to be mindful when using the select star or select all it's basically used on database with let's say a few records okay so to prevent the problem of using star select star only select star to select millions or billions of records in our database which might hang our database because it needs a lot of processing power to retrieve all those records sql server has a keyword called top which we can use to select specific number of rows so to do that you type again the select st statement so select top let's say top five rules star from students so by this statement what we mean is that uh, the query should output only the top five rules so let me execute the code to see the output okay so you see now we have only five records out of the ten records so you can select any number of records that you want using the top keyword followed by the number of rows so this prevents you from selecting millions or billions of records at a go which can hang your system so always if you want to select from your records you can use the top keyword right so let me comment on this code again. 
right so the next thing that we're going to talk about is distinct so distinct is basically used to select distinct records from a table so if you have a table that contains duplicate records uh, distinct will filter out only distinct values so it will it prevents repetition let me put it that way so the thing the syntax so the syntax for selecting distinct values or records is select distinct then i'll use the gender the gender field because in the gender field we have repetition of male female and in this instance it will help us to understand what distinct means so i'll just write select distinct into brackets gender so this gender refers to the field name or the column name sorry is the column name rather okay so when i run this script you see that it's outputted only female and male unlike when you run select all or select top which repeats fields with male and female values so basically this is how you can use distinct keyword let me comment on it and move to the next item which is count so count is a function in sql that is used to count records so in in this tutorial we're going to use the count function so select count into bracket star from students so by this statement all that we are telling sql is to count records in the students table so when i execute this we get 10 telling us that we have 10 rows or 10 records in the students table okay so count is basically used to count records the next thing that we'll talk about is us so us is an alias we couldn't get any column name for the count so we can use this same example to talk about us so us simply means alias so select count star as let's say count or records as records count records count it should be one word if you want to separate it then you need to put quotes around it right okay so let me execute this code once again you see that it has given the column a name so as simply means alias name so select count star and give it an alias name of records count okay so basically this is how we use us then the next thing we'll talk about is max max simply means maximum and it's also a function that you can use to select maximum value in your database okay so select this time around I uh, will use the great table or we can still use this table so let me use this table select age maximum age from students so by this statement all that we mean is we want sql to select the maximum the student with the maximum age okay so the maximum age is 40 so per the records we have a maximum age of 40 then the next thing that i want us to talk about is minimum so minimum is also a function that outputs the minimum value in your table right so the minimum age is 18 
very simple and the last thing that we'll talk about is average so average is also an aggregate function in sql which outputs the average value in our table so average let's execute and see the average age so the average age is 26 very simple so this brings us to the end of this tutorial see you in the next tutorial where we're going to talk about some basic select statements okay so see you bye